Hi, today will be a short video to go through how to add a Zigbee USB dongle to Home Assistant, how to add a Zigbee device, and I'll also take you through some example automations that I've found useful. I'll be using the Sonoff Zigbee 3.0 USB dongle, and also the Sonoff SNZB04 door window sensor. All right, let's get straight into it. To get started, head to the Home Assistant web interface and go to settings, then devices and services. Click on the add integration button in the bottom right and search for Zigbee Home Automation. Follow the prompts to add the integration. In this case, I am using a Zigbee that is connected through the USB port. I'm going to clear any previous settings on the device and start from scratch. Select the location of the device and continue through the prompts. Once it has been successfully added, you'll see Zigbee Home Automation has been added to your integration list. Click on the Configure button. Now we need to add a device. Click on the Add Device button in the bottom right corner. Follow your device instructions to put it into pairing mode. For the Sonoff SNZB04, you need to put a pin in the hole for 5 seconds until it flashes. Once the device is in pairing mode, then it should be detected. Follow the prompts to add it. This includes selecting a location for the device. In this case, this will be located in my garage. Back in the Zigbee screen, you can view all the devices that have been added. The Sonoff sensor that was just added is shown as EWELink DS01. So now you want to add the device sensor details as a card in your overview screen. To do this, go to the overview screen, edit the dashboard and add a card. Search for the device, and in my case I'll search for DS01. And then select what you want to display. For example, I want to see the sensor which shows when it is opened or closed. Click continue and Home Assistant will suggest an example display mode based on the sensor type. If you're happy with this, click add to dashboard and you will see the sensor visible in your dashboard. When you open and close the sensor, the card will move from closed to open and then back to closed. Feel free to edit the name and rename it to something easier to understand. For example, I'm going to choose garage sensor. Okay, let's add some automations to notify your phone when the sensor opens. If you have installed the Home Assistant app, then the phone notify service should be available to use. For instructions on configuring remote access and the iPhone app, check out my video in the suggested link or description. The first automation is going to be when the sensor moves to open. Create a new automation, and then select the device just added, and then select a trigger of opened. Now we need to select an action to send a notification via the mobile app. Select call service and then search for notify and select the notify mobile app. Select a message and an appropriate title such as garage door alert and garage door has been opened. Once complete, click save and select a name such as garage door open alert. The next automation is going to be for when the sensor remains open for a period of time. For example, if you forgot to close the garage door. Add a new automation using the same trigger details as the automation we just created, except this time we're going to add a duration of five minutes. Again, add the action of sending a notification via the mobile app and add in an appropriate message and title such as garage door has been left open for five minutes and garage door alert. Save the automation with a title such as garage door left open alert. You can adjust as you require. Okay, I'll first trigger these to see if the alert comes up on my mobile. Click on the three dots and run both automations. As you can see, the alerts come up as push notifications on my phone. Now let's try actually setting off the sensor and then see if the two automations successfully trigger. By clicking on the information, you can see the first one alerted when the garage sensor opened and for the second automation, if we wait five minutes, we can see that the automation was triggered when the sensor was open for five minutes. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have some example automations or that you'd like to share, or if you have any questions, please leave a comment.